we all know that the, we are in the transition phase right now. We used to be broadcasters, all of us. Now we are transitioning into becoming media houses, which means we have multi-platforms we have to serve, and therefore we also have to make sure that we have brand consistency across all these platforms. That's a huge challenge today, because all the systems we have purchased for graphics are end-to-end -end solutions. We need to have a way where the tools we have can be used across multiple platforms. That's what we're looking for into this project. So with that, I'll hand it over to you, Frank. Yeah, so um, let's look at the kind of key objective here, what we're challenging people here with. Um, it's to develop a modular end-to-end -end HTML based graphics workflow, and that's to support multi-platform delivery. We're all thinking about digital first. Some of the technical goals that we've got in here place is like a common broadcast friendly HTML format. Um, a generic API, now we're working together with the EBU, Paula here on this as well. Um, so, but what we're looking for is a common API for broadcast graphics. That's to support the interoperability between all the components in the workflow that we're suggesting here. Um, and it's a very modular graphics workflow. Let's make it clear. Ecosystems are really pretty and lovely, but we're really focusing in on Let's get the modules right here, the best of breed for each component. Um, and ideally, where you can replace or migrate quite efficiently. Um, the stretch goals for the, the, the challenge here, um, the reuse of assets across multiple platforms. Um, and then that interaction with graphics content on the viewing device. Some of the things that you've seen with the BBC R&D and the Stato project um, is kind of the mindset that we've got there. Um, I'll just move on. The, so, what is the innovation, the target for this? The project is to formulate a modular HTML graphic solution. That's for traditional linear, as we all know and love, but we're really thinking about digital first. What does it mean for streaming? What does it mean for our web platforms? Um, and we really want to focus on off-the-shelf, you know, industry standard tools, web development tools that we all know and love, and that's to develop the architecture, the APIs, the standards, the protocols, and it's to ensure that usability is just baked in from the start. A uh, modular, modern media house, as Neil said, um, that we all require. So basically, we don't want to get away from having an end-to-end -end solution, but we don't want it from a single vendor. What we have here is exactly the workflow that every broadcaster, every media house needs. You need the ability to create content, you need the ability to play out content, you need the ability to see it in an edit suite, in a newsroom system. All that is also applicable to the system that we would like to see in the future. The big difference here is that we want to pick, pick and choose which components makes most sense, what's, what's the best product for the money, what's the best product for the, product, the end product we want to produce, and not have a complete solution. So we want to have the ability to preview content in the edit suite. We want to have the ability to preview content in the Newsroom system. We want to sit out off-site off and edit in a web-based editor and still see graphics. And we all want to output this on multiple platforms. So the graphic that we use in the traditional broadcast where it's burned in should also be available on an HTML website or in a stream. So that's the difference here. We want to be able to do the same as we do today, but across all the platforms. And that's not possible. So yeah, um, we're a team of two champions at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so we're seeking more. Um, so please um, come and get involved if you want. Please don't wait, table eight. Um, a wish list team that we've got, um, the expertise that we're really looking for, it's especially around the HTML and web development. We would like to see people who may be, you know, entry can contenders to the broadcast world. They may be focusing in on web development itself. Um, animation content creation tooling, we're really looking for the big players as well as um, some of the new starts in that field. Um, and then you can see all the integrations that we've listed out there around streaming, around studio automation, whether that's proprietary or open source. Um, and then any lead graphics integration. How do we turn web animations into movie files? So long story short, the, the target here is basically to get away from the monolithic way of thinking and into a much more modular way of thinking. That's the whole goal here, getting the best tool for what we need to do. Yeah, I think just to kind of finish on it, you can see in the picture that the, the, kind of the flexibility is what we're trying to request here. 
this is all the kind of ways that the BBC has been using web animations, um, whether it's on live or post, on digital devices, set design, and that interactive element that you've got um, for your audience at home. So, yep, as I said, please don't wait. Table eight. Mm -hmm.